Hello everyone, welcome back to Bell Greets. Today we have a story about an ant and the grasshopper. The ant and the grasshopper. So, shall we move on to the story? Before moving on, if there is anyone watching the channel Bell Greets without subscribing, kindly subscribe the channel and click on the bell icon to get new updates. The ant and the grasshopper. Grasshopper loved the summer season. It was really wonderful. There is a lot of food. It was splendid all day, perching on the blades of grass and basking under the sun. And just occasionally, he would like to hop on one blade to another. But most of the time, he was so happy, absolutely doing nothing. Just singing, playing and dancing. He was happy all the time. Grasshopper idly rubbed his legs together, making a happy chirping sound. Long summer days, lazing in the lush green grass. He thought to himself with a smile. Oh, can there be anything better than this? It's such a wonderful season. With lots of food all around, there is nothing to worry. Grasshopper was just a bit to doze off when there was an annoying heaving and panting sound right beneath him. Hmm, hmm, what was that? Oh, that seems to be an ant carrying something on a shoulder which is so much bigger than him. No wonder he was panting because the food that he was carrying was twice as big as he was. And the field was very away. And from there, he is carrying that to his home. It seems, oh, such a bad scene. Oh, what a silly thing to do on such a hot sunny day like this. Grasshopper started laughing. Hey, hey, ant, hey, just look at you. You're all worn out. It has to be done, said the ant, wiping his brow. I have to take this food to my nest. What? What a nonsense. You don't have to, said the grasshopper. You could have just eaten from there. Rather than dragging it all the way down to your home, it's so heavy. Why are you doing this? Come on. Let's sit here. Let's have a picnic together. And waved his bro again, just looked at him. He would have loved to stop for a picnic, but there was far too much work to be done. You don't understand, he told Grasshopper. This food is in to be eaten now. I am taking this to store in my nest. He explained. Grasshopper started laughing. <laughs> so much, so much fun. I have never heard such a good joke. He nearly fell off his blade. Off to the grass. But that means you will be going back and forth like this carrying the heavy loads from dawn to dusk? <laughs> he mocked in all his heat. In all this heat. I know, I know, I know, said Ant. But it is so I have plenty of food for my winter season in my nest and I don't have to go roaming around for the food at that time. Nothing grows at that time anyway. It's not like that now. Nowadays, we have food wherever we look. So, I am just collecting it to my nest for my safety for the winter. Grasshopper lazily glazed all around him. It's true, there is lot of food wherever you look. Large grasses, golden field of corns, delicious little fruits and berries all over. And it was also true that by winter, it would all disappear. But that did not mean he was going to scurry frantically about like an ant. 
puffing and panting on a hot sunny day. No, 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 no. That's not going to happen. The wind is ages away. It's not near, said Grasshopper. Enjoying the lovely summer with me. Just do as sing and dance along with me. It's fun. Crawl up here and let's have a picnic. Hmm, but however, and was already crawling away, lifting whatever he had with him, heaving it across the ground. Crazy grasshopper called after him. We ants like to think ahead and turn around and said this and panted in reply. Not for a moment, pausing in his heavy task. Summer won't last forever. Grasshopper jarringly shook his head, reclining on his lush blade of grass. As he looked up at the perfect blue sky, he wondered how anyone could possibly think about winter on such a beautiful day. It seemed to Grasshopper that summer would surely go on forever. The ant, along with his friends, now reminded the grasshopper and they just they did their duty of carrying the food to their nest. They all were happy doing their work. But at that time, the grasshopper just did singing and dancing. Fadi da di da do da di da do. Fadi do di da di di da di la la la. He was singing and dancing. The summer lasted for weeks and weeks, months and months, but he did not go on forever. Eventually, the long cloudless days became a little shorter. The sun was not quite so hot now, and the flowers were starting to fade. Autumn arrived. Oh, oh now the grasshopper just woke up from his dream of not ending, not ending the summer. I had better stock up with food, Grasshopper said to himself, climbing down from his blade of grass with a shiver. He was sure there would be a little bit left before the frost and snow arrived. But where can I find some food? He asked a little mouse, who was roaming around, who was just peeing out from the leaves. There's nothing growing now, replied the mouse. You're too late, man. Even the fruits that fell from the trees all had been carried away by other animals. You're not getting anything. Hearing this, Grasshopper was distraught. He felt so hungry. How am I going to manage? He asked the mouse sadly. He knew that the winter became. He would be starving at that time. The grasshopper felt really sad. He was feeling hungry and there is nothing to eat. How am I going to manage? He thought to himself. He knew that the winter came and he would be starving and shivering and he will die. Then he suddenly had an idea. Oh, there was ant. He was collecting all the food. Let me go them. Let me go and visit them. With all that food that he had been storing up during the summer, surely there would be some spare to give his, to his hungry friend. By the time winter set in, the hunger and the biting cold made the grasshopper weaker and weaker and weaker. It took him a long time to reach even his friend Ant's nest. And, Ant, Ant, are you there? He called faintly. It's your friend, Grasshopper. Oh, I'm starving. And I'm your friend, the Grasshopper. I have no food to eat. I'm so hungry and tired and weak. Could you please spare me a little bit of yours? And took a good while to emerge from his nest. In fact, Grasshopper even wondered whether he would appear at all. He remembered how unkind he was to the ant during the summer. He even mocked at him and his friends. Finally, though ant did emerge, 
and he was carrying lots of food. <gasps> he invited the grasshopper to his home. Come, my friend. Welcome to my home. He invited his friend, where all his ant friends came together with a bowl full of soup and all the food they have. They shared with the grasshopper. Grasshopper gobbled up all gratefully. I'm so sorry. I laughed at you for collecting all this food during the summer. He said, "Next summer, for sure, I will follow you guys. I will follow your example and think ahead and do my work during my summer. I won't just simply sit and dance and play. Surely, I'll be doing my work at that time." The ant smiled and pleased that grasshopper learned his lesson. They all sat together and had a delicious dinner. That's all for the story. So friends, do your work on time to gain whatever you had in your future. That's all for the story. I think everyone liked the story. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Bye bye. See you again next time with another beautiful story.